Mayhees keeps pulling. He's going to his spot over here. I don't want him to get there. This is a monster! Right, I'm pretty excited. I'm fishing a almost brand new creek. Something I've been kind of scouting out or actually seeing for a while whenever I drive by here for work. And uh, it's about an hour away from my house. That's why I haven't been here yet. But I have fished a little bit around this area just a couple times stopping. And I've always caught stuff. Rock bass, red breast, bluegill. So I thought I saw some smallmouth in there. I'm not sure if I did or not one time. Um, I'm really excited to get in here and check it out. The water's really low looking. That I know it comes, comes out of the mountains, sort of. And also there's a spring that feeds into it. So right now it's down. I don't know if that's gonna be good or not and real clear. Oh, oh there's a fish. There's the first one. The water's definitely a lot lower than I thought it was gonna be or where I've seen it before. But it hasn't rained a lot in a while. Nice red breast. Now that's a chunk. Wow. First fish, a really nice red breast. That's fun. Oh, there's a good fish. That's a, that's a good strong creek fish. Oh, it came off. Oh, but another one came and hit it. I didn't think it was hooked that good, the first one. The first one was bigger. That's a, that right here is a still a good one. The first fish hit it. He just kind of nipped it, I think. I didn't think it was hooked that good. Come on. This right here is a good fish. It's like a spotted bass. Oh, man. He's nice. I wish I had landed that other one. I'm gonna go back for him. But this right here, he's a chunky little fish. First bass, I'm kind of going for bass. A lot of times I fish creeks, just fishing for multi-species, which I'm doing a little bit of multi-species, but I'm really trying to locate some bass in here. And um, I've come down to this spot here, it's deeper. I don't know if there's a, there's like another spring that comes into it. Maybe there's some good fish in here. It's a good start. There's another fish. He wanted to eat it. Little red breast. He just kept following it and nipping at it. I just slowed up, reeling it, and let him hit it. How did he get out of the water? There's a little fish. Oh, oh, he's taking off with it. Nice red breast. Man, I haven't caught a ton of fish so far. It's been a little slow as far as usually what I'm doing creek fishing or some of the creeks I go to where they're just loaded. Everything I've caught has been really nice, nice uh, size and healthy. Oh. <laughs> Whatever this guy is, he came out and nailed it. It's a little, some kind of bass. I think it's a spot. He won't stop digging. Nice spotted bass. That's a pretty fish. Hold on. Pretty little guy. There's a guy. What is this? Red breast. Ooh, another good one though. Can't tell when these red breasts hit apart from the bass because they hit so strong. Oh, there's a fish. What is it? What is it? Uh, oh, nice rock bass. Just a chunk. My goodness. Hold on. Oh, man. 
I wonder if this is my new PB. I caught one one time that was a giant like this. Dude, that's just an absolute slab of a rock bass. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, there he goes. He was right at 10 inches, and that's a, that's a trophy size in Tennessee. So that was definitely a good fish. Little guy. Bluegill. The fish today seem, they haven't been really coming from far away. I have to like put it almost right on top of them. I'll be having to hit the bank and I'll cast it a foot over from a place I just cast and catch a fish. So they haven't been really searching or going after it from far away. But if I put it on top of them, they've been hitting it. So that last deep hole over there where I caught that big old rock bass, just a giant for a rock bass gets shallow again comes through here then we got another couple of nice deep holes just calm water but um there could be anything in this these areas i just want to try to keep going as far as i can go and uh just looking for anything i can catch love to catch some big old spotted bass another big rock bass and maybe if i can still find those small mouth oh i see a fish hanging out on top of the water. Other side of those logs right there. Oh, oh, I think I see a couple bass. Oh, what was that? Scared something. Oh man, I got a good fish. Yes, he came over the log. <laughs> he jumped up and came over the log. It, there was bass over there. Oh, look, there's two little ones with it. But these are nice creek bass right here. Man, this guy's chunky. If I can't catch smallmouth, spotted bass is a good substitute. Most people go for largemouth stuff, which are fun, but spots seem to be just strong. Of course, everything in these creeks, like these kind of creeks, are usually really strong fish. Sometimes it takes some risky casts, but uh, that's how you can get bigger ones, or get the good ones anyways. It's a good creek bass. Oh yeah, that was one of the ones hanging out with it, I think. Oh, barely hooked him in the, what? Got him under the sneeze. Swiped at it. Pretty fish. Nice. All right. All right, if I had a little, uh, my light action pole with a little trout magnet or something, I'd be wearing out some sunfish, I think. But um, this little deep area keeps on going that way, but I, I'm gonna have to get up over those logs and try to go over on the other side. And there may be a lot more fish in there. I can see it looks kind of calm over there too. All right, I'm gonna have to go all in on waiting and empty out my pockets. I wanna get through this little area and up onto that. Ooh, the water's cold. Oh, there's a rock bass. Oh, he can't. He hit it kind of soft. That's another good rock bass. Not near as big as that last one, but it's nice. He, uh, he I saw him come up and look at it. He just barely pecked at it. It's not, no, he's not near as big as that last one, but nice little rock bass. Oh God. The rock bass. There's definitely some rock bass in here. That is a good size one. He was right off the brush pile over there. Had to cast right up on the brush pile. Get him to come out. These guys like to hang around the banks and rocks and stuff and just they'll come out. If you throw something near them though, they'll come out and get it. But you gotta a lot of times you gotta throw it near where they're at. There's one. What is this? Come here. Well, wow, that's a good bluegill. 
I catch a lot of uh, bigger species of fish like rock bass, red breast in creeks. I don't find bluegill really big in creeks a lot. I don't know if you do. I just start, started thinking about it. Most of the time when I find a bluegill big, it's in a pond or, or I guess a lake or something. But in creeks, where I catch a lot of other big species, most of the time I never catch a big bluegill. There's a fish. Oh, there's a good fish. It's been a minute since I've caught a good fish. <gasps> yes! Oh, yes! It's a smallmouth. There are smallmouth in this creek. This is one of the closest creeks to me that I know have smallmouth in now. That is awesome. Sweet. Hope my camera is working right. I've had, been having trouble with the audio and it's about to drive me crazy. Gotta get that thing figured out. All right, that's a little guy, but I'm glad to catch a smallmouth um, around here just to know that they're in here. Cool. All right, I got another little beaver dam. It's like the second one I come up on. And there is just an absolutely beautiful little deep hole over here. Oh my, there's a nice bass right over there. I see him. There may be some big ones in here. Let's see if he's hungry. Dude, he hammered it. That is an awesome fish. Just awesome. He came off. Of course he did. He hammered this thing. How did he come off? All right, I'm going to stick with it just for a minute because there could be some more big ones. Man, I may have to switch, but uh, let's see what else we can get. There's a little guy. Not the big one. Oh, it's a shiner. If he was smaller, I might use him for bait. Oh, I got something. I got it. I got it. Oh, whoa. Stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Dude, a giant Helgramite got him. Man, he just keeps pulling. He's going to his spot over here. I don't want him to get there. This is a monster. Can't tell if he's a largemouth or spotted bass, but either way, this thing is just monstrous. No, 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 don't break my line. Don't break my line. Hold on, hold on. Oh my goodness. Look at that bass. That may be my biggest bass I've ever caught. It looks like a largemouth. Oh, the Helgramite came through again. I tried a few different lures after I missed it the first time. Just casting it around. All of a sudden, he just picked it up. Look, whenever they hit this thing, it hit deep. Dude, that is so cool. All right, let's weigh it real quick. All right, look at that. A little persistency pays off. Man, look at the mouth on this guy. He's a king in this creek. He's not actually the heaviest weighing fish. He's not as fat as I thought. But um, I think he's going to be a good one. Let me reset this thing. Three point five two, three and a half pounds. My biggest bass is three pounds twelve ounces. So this is almost my biggest bass. Cut out of this awesome creek. All right, one more look. Oh yes, it's going back in. Good. Oh, we got another creek merger. 
And it looks really good up there. We've got some turtles sitting on. Oh, dude, look at that buck. Man, that's a big buck. That's a nice antlers. Oh, there's two of them. Two bucks and looks like a doe. I wish I had my camera out. Man, those are beautiful bucks. Man, I wish I had a big camera with me. And that is a nice, that's like an eight point buck at least. The other one is probably a six. Nice rack, still got the velvet on it. I came right to the merger of this creek here that I just came down. And I got this creek over here. And uh, it looks really juicy up in there. So I'm gonna mess around here for a little while, then head back. Nice little bass. Little spotted bass. Right off this little brush pile. Whoa, a little chunkier than I thought. Sometimes when you see these fish in the water, you really can't tell how big they are or anything. They could be uh, real thin or real fat. I switched to the Rebel Crawl. Got a little big, bigger hooks on it. Chunky little, uh, see if it's a spot. Nope, maybe that's a largemouth. Chunky little, uh, yeah, it looks like a largemouth bass. Fat little thing. When I can find creeks like that to fish, why would I want to fish anywhere else? Just a great three, three and a half hours of fishing. This really awesome creek. First time I've really explored it. It was far from a walk in the park. It was a pretty tough uh, hiking and going through briars and ditches and over rocks and stumps and stuff like that. So the access was definitely tough but the fish was worth it. 10 inch rock bass, I caught smallmouth bass, several spotted bass, and a three and a half pound largemouth. That's a pretty good day. Thanks for watching.